based on the way that Herman Cain is handling what just happened, it sounds like, unfortunately, I mean, I'll put it this way. I'm hoping that he didn't do what was alleged, but unfortunately, first, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. I'm having a lot of hard to say tonight, you notice, but, um, Herman Cain just definitely did, in a lot of ways, sound too good to be true, and as I said, I'm hoping that what happened didn't happen, because I was really on the verge of deciding between Cain and Romney, and I was probably going to go with Cain, and now with just the way that he handled his scandal, I'm not so sure. It sounds like, I mean, I guess... I'm kind of hanging on to that, hanging on to that last hope, kind of hoping that Herman Cain didn't do it. But based on the way that his communications director handled the question, and with Lee Wheel's point, it sounds like Herman Cain did do what was alleged, and the simple. At least we all made to point that a simple yes or no would have sufficed, and J.D. Gordon could have easily said, I'm not supposed to talk about this, but since someone on the other side of the, of the dispute broke the agreement that we had had, we are free to affirm that Mr. Kane did not do what the parties who broke the agreement allege that he did in the first place. And obviously, J.D. Gordon did not handle the situation that way, and it sounds like had Herman Cain been clear of any wrongdoing, then J.D. Gordon would have handled the situation that way and just said, as I said and as Lee Wheel pointed out, Basically, we're free to affirm that Mr. Kane did not do what the parties alleged, and we are also free to say that since the parties broke the agreement, we can comment and again affirm that Mr. Kane did not do what was alleged by those parties.